Welcome to this series of short videos to help you manage shortness of breath. When you're short of breath, it can be very scary. You can feel helpless, out of control, and it impacts your quality of life. Our hope is that this series of short videos will help you to manage this symptom and to improve your breathing. Remember, it's important to talk to your healthcare team about your breathing. There are many things that can be done to help it. They're there for you and they want to help. We hope you'll find some information that will help you. We're going to start out by learning abdominal breathing. This is sometimes referred to as diaphragmatic breathing, breathing from the lower chest, or breathing from the belly. This type of breathing is important because it helps us to get enough air into the deepest part of our lungs to take the deepest breath possible. To learn how to do this correctly, we first need to find our diaphragm. And I'd like you to join me in taking your hand and placing it on your belly, below your ribs, but above your belly button. Now, give a cough. <coughs> the muscle that you feel coming up and pushing against your hand is your diaphragm. Now that you've been able to locate where your diaphragm is, I'd like you to take a breath in. And when you take this breath in, it should push your hand out and you should see your hand and your belly rise out. Let's do that together. Good, let's try it one more time. Okay, now that we know how to use our diaphragm when we breathe, let's put this together to take a nice, effective deep breath. When we take a breath in, we are going to inhale through our nose. Remember you, to use your diaphragm and have your belly rise out. When we exhale, we are going to exhale through pursed lips like this. Okay, let's try this together. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Now, if you are sitting, I'd like you to think about placing your hands on your lap and turning your palms up. If you're standing, I'd like you to think about turning your palms out like this. What happens here is our shoulders will rotate out. And because they have rotated out, we are actually increasing the amount of space in our lungs for the air to enter into. And it allows us to take an even deeper breath. So now, in your comfortable position, with your palms turned out, let's practice taking a breath in through our nose, using our diaphragm, and exhaling through our mouth through pursed lips. Here we go. Very good. Now, we're gonna take this one step further. This time, we are going to inhale through our nose for the count of four. Then, we're actually going to hold our breath for the count of five, six, seven. And then, we're going to exhale through pursed lips for the count of eight, or slowly for as long as you can. So it will go like this. Inhale through your nose, two, three, four, hold for a count of five, six, seven, exhale through pursed lips for a count of eight. Let's do it together. Here we go. And one more time. Great. This deep breathing should be done two to four times per day, getting as much air into your lungs as possible. It can also be done prior to doing any activity that you know will make you out of breath. And this type of abdominal breathing will also be used in our other short videos with some helpful strategies and during the respiratory muscle strengthening exercises.